Hello, welcome back to Zebra Force. Today, I thought it might be fun to play around with this little guy. I have an electric kalimba in my possession. I cannot play the kalimba, but uh, this was given to me uh, like two years ago as a Christmas present, and I've literally never even plugged it in. So I'm going to see what kind of sounds I can get out of this thing today. It's just a simple kalimba. Um, I think it's just a little piezo pickup in there. So um, probably not the best sound, but let's let's see let's see what happens. Yeah. So to start, this is uh, really low volume. The signal is really really small. Give it a little gain. Okay, that's not bad. This is going to be really interesting. I would like to attempt to make some really wild sounds with this, but first I'm just going to record a nice clean sound. Let's get an EQ, some compression. Okay, it seems best if I hold it in my hands. There seems to be less low end from like the thump of the desk is, is uh, contributing to it, and there's some air release holes on the back that I'm covering if I place it on a desk so it's got a lot of buzz I don't know anything about getting a clean kalimba sound <laughs> what what else can I get out of this this is like is there a ooh okay we might be able to get some percussion out of this too let's put some compression on it yeah, that's uh the the signal is really quiet. Oh yeah. Ooh. All right, I'm just going to start with percussion. Let's do 126. I'm kind of just like trying to see what sounds I can get out of this that aren't um, of the actual kalimba metal. We might be able to get like a whole track out of this. <laughs> we'll see here. Well, uh, check check this out though. I can speak through it. Obviously, I can speak through it because it's just a piezo pickup, and it's like right. Where is it? It's it's like right here. You can even hear it as I tap. That's my beard. That is so satisfying. Hang on, I gotta I gotta record that in. How's that for some ASMR, huh? Okay, let's make actual Kalimba sounds. I'm kinda just in the chaos stage of of working with this thing this is really exciting that i can get that many sounds out of this i might try and just make a whole track with as many sounds as i can so i'm just going to try and get more and more samples so because i can't actually play this thing uh i think the easiest way for me to actually make music with this would be uh to sample just a middle c and turn it into a, a, a MIDI instrument, you know? Let's do a simpler sampler, simple sample. Simpler sampler, simple, simple. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I can ditch this thing because I've got... That sounds pretty good to me. So I've got this right here. pretty satisfying sound, but I'm kind of curious to know what happens if I pitch this. That's pretty cool. What does it sound like together? I like that as a combined sound. I'm going to put them together. Okay, now I can get rid of this and get rid of that. And we've got this as one scratchy scrat scrat 
scratchy track. We have some percussive stuff. Let's try making a little loop with this. Okay. First things first, we got to get rid of that ring and that's that's in there. How can we make this a beefy kick? Okay, that's a good start. It needs thump. It needs um, fake low end. <laughs> oh, you know what might actually work on this? An R bass. It's okay. All right, that's uh, that's intense. The only thing I don't like about it is the initial transients. I might actually try and roll that back a little bit. There might be something I can do in an EQ before I reach for a transient shape or anything like that. Yeah, let's just bring that guy down a little bit. That has some good attack to it still without being like so clicky, you know? Listen, for, for that coming out of a... I think I did a pretty good job. I like, I like the way the kick is sounding. I have a few more ideas I want to do to it, but I also want to move on and not get so focused on, on that. Yeah, definitely got to put a clap in there. There might be something I have in, in here that, that would work. Now we go to the uh, the MIDI kalimba that I just created. Wait, what is uh what note is this hitting? I gotta find that out really quick. We gotta make sure everything matches. Okay, F. That's the natural resonating tone. Okay, I have something coming here. I need reverb. There we go. Okay, that'll work. Gotta fix that. I am not the best piano player. There we go. Let's maybe squeeze these over as well. A little bit more on the one, or on the downbeat, I mean. A little bit more of a drag. Yeah, that's saucy. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on this and do a couple more episodes uh in one sitting because i'm feeling pretty productive and i got all day but that's going to do it for this video thank you so much for watching have fun be safe i'll see you tomorrow